Okay, we're just going to do a little microphone test and video test. This is being captured at uh, 640 by 480, 30 frames a second. Um, I've defaulted all of the settings back to the normal brightness and everything. Um, on, uh, on the last video uh, showing the Mantis cam, I think I reduced the exposure uh, just so we could look at the top texture of the um, BGA balls that have been left behind. And uh, I, I still wish this had a uh, an LED brightness control on it. Um, that might have to be a little uh, modification uh, at some point. I noticed that Dave uh, Dave Jones over at the EEV blog has uh, suggested the same thing. Um, don't know why it was never a feature. Uh, you, you know, you can ex you can adjust the exposure down when you're making the videos, but uh, yeah, it's a fairly big oversight I think having used this for a while now. Uh, the other thing with the uh, the Mantis Elite with the camera fitted the supplied lead is ridiculously short. I've already damaged the socket uh, that's actually part of the Mantis um, by snagging the cable on something as I move the Mantis around. Uh, it's you know it's not a major failure it's just broken a little bit of plastic off of the socket but at these prices, a longer cable, I would have thought, is uh, you know is uh, is justified. Um, so I've now got myself a, an ex a USB extension cable, and uh, I'm using it through uh, through the laptop to record this. Um, just wanted to show you something with this chip. Now you can't see it; you can't see the number. I don't think there. But I'm just going to lift the mantis head up a bit which will allow me to pick the board up and go in at an angle. Now, I don't know whether you can see that, hopefully you can, but we can actually now see uh, 1207A and looks like PBNUO. If I angle it the other way, there it's perhaps even clearer. So, you know, it's a really useful thing to be able to do. Um, sometimes you just can't see these chips, the chips numbers, unless you get the angle just right, but uh, yeah, with this, with the head up a little bit, I can uh, just hold the board up in the air and tilt it around until I get the uh, the, uh, the writing visible. So yeah, very useful. Um, that is controlling. Let me just bring this back down. The only other thing I would say is the. What looks in focus to me on the Elite uh, through the viewfinder doesn't always tally with it being in focus with the camera. Um, I think that's pretty much focus now. But you can move the, uh, the head up and down a little bit and it looks like it's still perfectly in focus. But there seems to be a critical point for the, the inbuilt camera um, focus point. So you know, I've got the laptop just to my side, so I can glance from one to the other, um, you know, without too much of a uh, an issue. Just to check that it's okay and recording perfectly. Uh, this was supposed to just be a quick test that it's recording the audio and there's no other issues. I've also turned uh, uh, some compression on in the uh, the AmCamp uh, software uh, just to see if that makes a difference to the file size. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, LG board I've been working on. The uh, the FET's blown. The uh, resistor. Hang on, let me grab the probe tip. Uh, where are we? Yeah, there's a resistor fitted in here. Uh, that's blown. Uh, sorry, that's not true. FET's blown. The resistor here has blown. There is a short. Uh, is that short or just blown open? Yeah, no, that's okay. But that's open circuit. Uh, that one there is. I suspect the chip's damaged. Uh, and if you look, there's uh, uh, where are we? There's a number of um, uh, optocouplers somewhere in this circuit. Yeah, back here. So you can follow that back up through here, back to that chip. So. The power supply doesn't seem to be available um, used. Uh, I'm sure a brand new one probably isn't available and is probably too expensive anyway. So there doesn't seem to be a repair kit available for this. So we might have to manually give this a go. But uh, 
Yeah, it's only a small 32 inch set. I'm not sure the customer will go for it. Um, yeah, so, uh, and there could be other damage I haven't even found yet, or leaky components that won't be, uh, won't be so obvious. Uh, yeah, just thought I'd uh, use the uh, Mantis Elite with the cam uh, just to uh, have a closer look at this. Uh, this is uh, 30 frames a second, uh, 640 by 480 as I said earlier, and uh, four times lens. I think it's perfectly uh, good enough for most tasks. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see whether this uh, saves and works okay. Thanks a lot. Something else I just noticed whilst playing the video back um, is the actual image that the USB camera inside is picking up is actually uh, substantially smaller than the image size I can see uh, through the, uh, the viewfinder. Um, this isn't an issue except if you're uh, pointing out components uh, around the periphery of the, of the image. Um, in, in this case I was pointing out a diode or a resistor and it was virtually off the screen of the recording. Now on the camera recording obviously you're seeing this so you can the highest bit you're seeing is this uh, diode 505 screen print but uh, down looking down the viewfinder I'm actually seeing and I'll just scroll this down so you can see what I'm talking about I can actually see to um, up here that's where I can see uh, that's, so that's you know a fair bit now yeah, if I put it back I can see still see my scratch mark uh, on the board so uh, yeah just just something to bear in mind if you're taking still images perhaps or, or pointing something out on the uh, the edge of the uh, the edge of the screen and same applies uh, to the left and right and bottom as well um, on the left now I'm just going to mark it uh, I can see to there just going to bring that across in your screen see the scratch mark yeah just in here um, where are we yeah, just there. So a substantial bit of uh, of that is missing. So just uh, just bear that in mind when you're uh, you're using this. Okay, thanks. Just thought I'd add that on at the end. Oh, and the uh, obviously the video compression worked. I've got a nice small file size uh, of where are we? Let's have a look. Um, 458 meg uh, for a six minute uh, clip, the one uh, prior to this, uh, which is uh, perfectly acceptable. I use Camtasia uh, to uh, tack all of the um, video clips together and it's quite happy handling file sizes uh, around about that. It's, uh, it's not so impressed when you uh, get up to the gigabyte <laughs> file size. Um, so yeah, anyway, thanks a lot.